This video is a part of my video series on how to create a Trezor Bitcoin wallet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to order your Trezor device. Currently, Trezor has two models, the Trezor 1 and the newer Trezor Model T. The major difference from a hardware point of view is that the newer Model T has a touchscreen. Maybe that's why the name Model T, T for touchscreen versus the buttons on the Trezor 1. From a software point of view, the Model T supports a few advanced features which are not required for most of us. Currently, the Trezor 1 is one third the price of the Model T. The Trezor 1 costs about 50 euros and the Model T costs about 150 euros. In spite of the fact that the Model T is newer, I personally still prefer the older Trezor 1. I find it uncomfortable to tap on a small touch screen. The advanced features are not really required and the price is three times the Trezor 1. In fact, Trezor itself calls the Trezor 1 the gold standard and calls the Model T premium. So go ahead and simply order the Trezor 1. In this video series, I will be showing you how to create your Trezor Bitcoin wallet using both the Trezor 1 and the Model T. You can buy these Trezor hardware devices on trezor.io and then click shop. Another option to buy would be to search on Amazon or a local e-commerce platform in your country. There are local retailers who stock up and sell these devices on these platforms. However, when you purchase from anyone else except from Trezor, just take the necessary precautions to check the rating of the retailer and the credibility. Also, when you receive the devices, be extra careful to check the packing and the hologram sticker before you open the packing. I'm going to show you how to do this later in this video. I also recommend that if you buy from Trezor's website, buy the three device pack. The three device pack costs less than the price of three Trezors. Currently, you save about 15% on the price and I guess you would save something on the shipping as well. Note that you might have to pay import duty depending on the country you stay. Having three Trezors over one allows you to keep a Trezor as a backup just in case you lose your Trezor device. Note that losing your Trezor device does not mean losing your Bitcoins or your Bitcoin wallet, which you will see later in this video. Having an extra Trezor also allows you the possibility of creating a multi-signature wallet in future. A multi-sig wallet is like a joint signatory bank account in which more than one person is required to make payments or in Bitcoin's case, to transfer Bitcoins. This kind of Bitcoin wallet makes sense for advanced Bitcoiners only and I shall cover this in a later video. Trezor also has an excellent password management feature and so you might want to use a separate Trezor for that. If you decide to use this feature and you want to carry the Trezor when you're traveling, it might be a good idea to have a separate Trezor for passwords. So again, the three pack is a good choice, else you can also just order one Trezor. Trezor also sells some other accessories, but you don't require any of them. But of course, if you're interested, go ahead and order them. The other thing which I highly recommend to order online is a pack of tamper evident bags. This is not a must have, but you will see later that this simple thing greatly adds to the security of your Bitcoin keys. Just search for tamper evident bags on Amazon and you'll find it. Again, I have mentioned a link to this in the description below. There are two types of tamper evident bags, clear and white. Make sure you order the white ones. You don't want the clear or transparent ones as we don't want anyone to be able to see through the bag. If you want to keep everything ready before you watch the rest of the videos, here's a summary of what you need. A Trezor device, the Trezor 1 or the Model T, a pack of white tamper evident bags, a marker, a laptop with Chrome or Android, a fireproof vault to keep your seed recovery card. So now let's have a closer look at the Trezor devices. Here I have a new pack of the Trezor 1 and also an open Trezor Model T. Since I have a new box, I want to show you that before you open the packing, it's a good idea to verify the hologram sticker. I guess it's especially important if you buy these devices from a retailer other than Trezor. For Trezor 1, the hologram is on the packing right here and even over here. And for the Model T, the hologram is on the USB connector. I don't remember if for the Model T they have a hologram on the packing also, but I guess the important one is to check it's on the connector. You can check the hologram on Trezor's website. They also have a short clip of the hologram on YouTube. Trezor has a web page called Trezor Packaging Timeline, which you can visit to check the latest packaging information to verify with the package that you received. So in the pack, you'll find the actual device, the recovery seat card, a cable, and some other miscellaneous things. This is how the pack of Tamper Evident Bags looks like. Let's remove one of them and see. You will see a bag number, place to write the details of the bag and the way you can seal it. In addition, you'll need a marker to write on the bag, a laptop, and ideally a fireproof vault to keep your recovery card, which will go in the tamper-evident bag and then in the vault. 
So now you have all the stuff that you require to create your own Bitcoin wallet powered by Trezor. Please like and share this video and do not forget to hit subscribe to keep a track of my future videos. So now that you have all the stuff, let's see the next video on how to set up your Trezor device.